guys, we are back in nature. So we're out here in the Three Sisters Wilderness again. Uh, we were just out here last week doing an overnight trip. Uh, this time we're going to be out here doing two nights, three days. And this is just wild. You can actually hear the ice cracking. Days to be out here, guys. So excited. Weather looking real nice. Sunny. Seems to always be sunny here in Oregon. So, last video, I brought a different tent. I brought my uh, Gossamer Gear the 2. Awesome tent. Lightweight. Um, I just wanted to try out a different tent this time. I got a four season tent that I'm going to be using in the winter. I only used it once last winter. Uh, it's just a black diamond tent. And maybe sleep up on a ridge or something. So I kind of wanted a tent that could really withstand some higher winds. So, just looked at the GPS here, of course, when I turned it on at my house, I had full battery, now it's on low battery, but I was able to see uh, trails around here. A little bit over a mile, we'd start making our way towards uh, the middle sister, and then eventually we'd go across the Hayden Glacier. Um, so that's an option if I want to go try and summit... Uh, the middle sister or I can take this trail and keep hiking along uh, between middle sister and south sister which is what I wanted to do but I kind of contemplating on summiting the middle sister probably wouldn't do it today since it's already 3 30 maybe do it tomorrow morning we'll see and to my surprise luckily I brought the flip phone here <laughs> but now I can get the beta on climbing the middle sister so I think that's what we're probably going to do. Oh, need to get a tripod. The trail is really starting to climb now. Man, we got a gorgeous view of the Middle Sister and the Hayden Glacier. From what I was reading the beta, I'm going to have to get more clear beta on this. But possibly go up that glacier to that saddle and then summit from there. I think I'm going to completely regret not bringing in an ice axe or crampons or micro spikes. Man, I am so pumped about this. I mean, look at that. I'm just excited to camp tonight and just see the views as the sun sets. And then climbing this thing is going to be whole different story. But I am I'm stoked. Yeah, that sucks. I've used this filter once now. It's about to be clogged pretty bad. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, a little tip for you guys um, for back flushing the Sawyer squeeze. Obviously, you can bring the syringe, the plunger with it, and back flush it. Or what you can do is get rid of that and have a little squirt top like this. And this will provide enough pressure to actually back flush it. So I take the lid off here, put that aside, don't lose it. Then we're going to take the tip where the water comes out and insert this. And it literally fits perfectly. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Just nasty. But yeah, works to back flush. And this is just wild. Guys, this is so cool. I can actually hear the ice cracking.
right, guys. Well, I am deciding to bail on the Summit and Middle Sister. Honestly, I don't really have the best data right now. I'm just kind of trying to figure it out from my flip phone. Um, and I've summited peaks before with like very limited data. And sometimes you get yourself into some pretty hairy situations. So I'm going to play it safe and not do this. I mean, first off, glacier travel. I think there's a way to go around this glacier here. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. I was contemplating on maybe trying to do it, but uh, like I said, I've been in the situations before where I'm like, why am I doing this? So uh, yeah, I'm actually just going to pack up here, probably make some more coffee, because why not? And then uh, head back down and head up the valley. Yeah, it's going to be a good day, but also kind of a bummer to turn around, but yeah, I guess sometimes you just got to know when to turn around. All right, so we are headed back down. Uh, what we're gonna do is kind of follow this creek and then we're gonna cross the river and then there's a trail that actually goes let me try and goes up this valley. So we'll be between the South Sister and North Sister in this valley and there's some lakes in there. Hopefully, maybe just catch some fish, that'd be fun. As far as camping above treeline where I was at, there honestly wasn't too many protected spots from the wind. So I'd suggest if you're coming up here to set up a little base camp and you're in a three season tent, go down in those trees down there. So the river's up here and the kind of trail wanders up through here. Tons of camp spots down there to set up base camp. This water here is just absolutely amazing. I mean, coming right off of a glacier. That was awesome. Oh, wow. Favorite things to eat backpacking, cream cheese, and bagels. It's been a fun day, pretty tired, and I will catch you lads, manana, adios. Good morning guys, 
What a good view to wake up to. And a good view to wake up to on your birthday. Just a beautiful start of the day and also my birthday 32 today guys it's pretty awesome also pretty thankful that my girlfriend was stoked on me uh, doing three days out here we're gonna celebrate tonight I made it back to the trailhead oh, here making some coffee before I drive home and then uh, I can go enjoy some sushi later. But yeah, guys, definitely come check out this area. It's gorgeous. If you have any questions, comment below. Like, subscribe. Get out there. Go explore. See you guys.